Today I want to talk to you about three simple ideas to help you successfully fundraise in 2018. I'm in contact with about a hundred Catholic organizations every month and what I'm finding more and more is that yes everybody's excited to fundraise but throughout the year more and more of them fail. So particularly at the end of the year I've seen the majority, it's incredible, majority of Catholic organizations just completely pull out of their fundraising and why is that? Well that's what I want to talk about today. Three simple ideas to make sure that you start 2018 successfully and you can move forward throughout the entire year. But before I do that, I want to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every week I'm providing rich content to help you move forward and as well, make sure to go to my website catholicfundraiser.net. It's right here in the window. Go to catholicfundraiser.net and download the 10 commandments to Catholic fundraising. This is 10 things that I think you should be doing with your fundraising to make sure that you are successful throughout every week, every month, and every year. I think it's 10 things that every Catholic should be doing with their fundraising and what I've seen to make sure that you don't lose sight of your mission and that you can raise money. Okay, the first idea I want to talk about for 2018 and successful fundraising is this concept of passive fundraising. So let me explain. Most Catholic organizations and probably you think that the first thing that you have to do with fundraising is build a case for support, find people to ask and go out and ask them. Well, that's not the first thing to do with fundraising. What you should be doing is building awareness, building trust and building your community and this happens through passive fundraising. So it's not about immediately asking people for donations, it's about building awareness, building trust and building your network, your contact list so that way you can ask later on. The second idea is this concept of being disciplined with your fundraising. Now discipline, habits are a strong pillar in the Catholic Church. If you look at any religious organization you're going to find that they all have a set of routines, their day-to-day -day is very well structured. If you look at the Benedictines to the Franciscans to the Carthusians to any religious order or even any parish there is, there is a mode to their life and this is what you have to do with fundraising because in fundraising it's very very important that you're planting seeds. I'm always talking about St. Paul, plant seeds, water them and allow God to grow. Let God help you grow those donations, grow those donors but you can't do that if you're not in the habit of being disciplined with your fundraising week after week which is building awareness and growing trust. And the third idea my fellow Catholic in being really successful in your fundraising in 2018 is active fundraising. So this is the part where yes you are asking for donations however you've got to have a structured approach to your campaign and that's why I'm really recommending that you download, you go to my website catholicfundraiser.net, you download the ebook and then you follow me. I'm helping week after week, I'm giving you great ideas to structure your fundraising because for active fundraising to go out and ask people you have to have a structured approach and this structured approach more or less looks like well what Jesus mentioned, um, seek, knock and ask. These three things are very very important. We tend to focus just on the ask but you've got you to be seeking looking around, okay who do, I, who do whom do I ask and then you've got to be knocking on doors and I really mean knocking on doors. The best way to fundraise is to actually physically meet people and talk to them and that's why passive fundraising is very important. It helps you find these people so that way you know who to knock, the, knock on the doors and then you know how to ask. You have to have a compelling ask. So that is active fundraising. If you enjoyed this video on fundraising make sure to subscribe. Um, 
right over there, right over there, it's going to be somewhere. Also, if you just enjoyed the scenic views of Catholicism in France, make sure to subscribe as well and uh, just follow me along on learning how to fundraise and seeing the beauty of Catholicism in the south of France. Cheers. Santé.